Hello, everyone. Uh, Donald Trump and Robin Hood. There's a lot of similarities. Um, in the movie Robin Hood, um, the sheriff of Nottingham, who had uh, who hoped to be king, and who had taken over the uh, kingdom while uh, the king was away fighting in the Crusades. Sheriff of Nottingham uh, was really mad that uh, the people uh, loved Robin Hood so much and uh, that Robin Hood was so popular and uh, that Robin Hood was causing uh, a lot of problems there in the kingdom uh, by stealing the gold and doing a lot of other things. Uh, Robin Hood was uh, stealing a lot of gold from the kingdom and uh, so forth, and he was d giving it to the poor people. Um, and so the sheriff of Nottingham uh, told one of his advisors there who was taking care of a lot of uh, things for him. Uh, he told the advisor, he said, uh, double everybody's taxes and call off Christmas. And his, his advisor told the king, it won't make any difference because they love him. And the same is true with, with Donald Trump. Uh, the more of these indictments that come out, which many people believe are politically motivated and I certainly believe that there's a lot of truth in that, them being politically motivated. Um, and also it, it appears that the FBI and the Department of Justice is being used as a political pawn to uh, cause a lot of problems by for Donald Trump. Not only uh, the federal uh, Department of Justice, but also the... Uh, uh, states attorneys in various states uh, are being used as as pol political pawns to go after Donald Trump, which should not be happening because, I mean, after all, we're in the midst of a presidential election here and, uh, and all, all those charges against Trump, they should be put off until after the election. Um, the thing about it is um, that's still going to be within the statutes of, of, of limitations because uh, that stuff happened in uh, that a lot of the, the lawsuits deal with the January 6th and that uh, happenings on January 6th where some of Trump supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol building. There's um, no reason that this thing should be expedited, especially against uh, an opposing uh, party's uh, front-running candidate. Um, it should be put off, put in abeyance until after the election. Um, and uh, I think most people believe, like I believe, that there's a lot of political shenanigans going on here. So Donald Trump is a lot like Robin Hood in that the people love him. And the more you try to uh, take him down using political ploys, like all these indictments, uh, the more people are going to back him. It's just like when you're kicking a dog or if you're seen kicking a dog um, there's going to be a public outroar against that and people are going to have sympathy for the the dog being kicked and abused and the same is true for um, 
anyone that's being abused, abused, suffering a lot of abuse. People are going to get behind them. People are going to support them. People are going to start going after the people who are uh, abusing the animal or the person. And people are going to start going after the D Department of Justice, which there already are. Uh, Congress is already after them. Congress is already after the FBI. Uh, Congress are going to be going after uh, a lot of these people that's involved in this political uh, shenanigans uh, that's taking place. I mean, it's not right. Um, you don't go after political opponents. I mean, are we Russia or are we some dictatorship? Uh, it seems like perhaps we are. And uh, the rest of the world, uh, the rest of the democratic world, who have uh, uh, democratic governments, they're looking at us and they're shaking their heads. I mean, this is not the way democracy is supposed to work. The Justice Department, the various states, uh, attorneys, uh, the FBI, are not supposed to be going after political opponents. It really, really smacks of uh, government interference into election. It really smacks of election interference. And that's what they're accusing Trump of. They're accusing Trump of interference in the election and trying to stop a... Uh, legitimate election uh, of a president from taking office. They're accusing Trump of um, interfering with an election. And they are doing the exact same thing right now, interfering with an election. The, the Biden administration, the Justice Department, the state's attorneys, uh, the FBI, all of those people should be uh, brought to, brought up on charges or actually uh, be notified that they are interfering with a legitimate election by going after the opposing party's major candidate. And this stuff needs to stop. Uh, the rest of the world is laughing at us and shaking their head. And, I mean, this really smacks of and appears to be politically motivated going after Donald Trump the way they're doing. So I'm not saying that Trump is perfect. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be brought to account on some of these charges and stuff. But I mean, we need to let the American public, the people that vote, we need to let the voters decide. And like I said before, uh, Donald Trump is a lot like Robin Hood. People love him. And the more that you go after him, the stronger he's going to become. Let the people decide. If he, if the people think that he is uh, qualified to be president and they want him to be their president, let them go to the polls and speak their mind. Stop all this political uh, shenanigans with uh, all of these indictments and, and stuff. Stop it. It needs to stop for the sake of American democracy and democracy as a whole throughout the world because the world looks at us as one of the major uh, founders of democracy, one of the major uh, leaders uh, in uh, freedom, individual freedom. 
And when you're going after a person like this, especially a candidate of the opposing party that you're affiliated with, you are interfering with an election and you are not allowing the free process of the election to occur. Um, it's totally and completely wrong. Once again, Donald Trump, just like Robin Hood, the more you go after him, the more people are going to get on his side, the more people who are going to love him, the stronger he's going to become. So stop all this stuff. Once again, that's my take on what's going on with, uh, with Donald Trump and this election and this upcoming presidential election. Please subscribe to my videos if you like them, and you'll be notified when uh, I post more of them. Thanks a lot, and you folks have a nice day.